A Megan College changing its graduation class names so it can distance itself from its racially charged past. Avery Braxton was at Wesleyan's campus digging through its history. He joins us now live in studio with what he found. Lori, the college has dropped its graduating class names because one had very, very clear ties to the Ku Klux Klan. They want to move forward, but say they don't want anyone to think they're trying to bury their history. For the last year, Wesleyan College has been steeped in change, trying to find where it can be better. One of those areas was to examine our 100-year-old uh, traditions that involve class names and colors and cheers and chants and student activities. One of those traditions, graduating class names. For years, classes have gone by special monikers and mascots designed to promote class pride and sisterhood. However, at least one is clearly related to the Klan in the origin of its name. The Tri-K Pirates, who were first seen in 1909 and again in 1913. The KKK was dropped at the beginning of the name in the 90s, but controversy still existed over the Purple and Green Knights. For many people, this has been an emotional conversation, not only because of their um, personal and, and emotional affiliation with their memories of being at Wesleyan, but also because the conversation had to do with race. Students at Wesleyan have appreciated, encouraged, and even led that conversation. I talked to three resident assistants, students who are incremental to the student experience. I am glad that the college accepted responsibility and talked about it rather than having everyone else uh, live in ignorance. I think it would have been a very easy thing for the college to just kind of sweep it under the rug and, you know, let's make it quiet and let's not talk about it anymore. But instead, a very clear message was made to students. Wesleyan taking that first step saying that we want all of our students to feel you know, like they belong here, so that we're gonna do away with something that separates. And now to compromise with alumna, past graduating classes will be able to keep their monikers, but the future classes will be colors only. Frank Laurie, back to you guys. Thank you, Avery. In the statement, Wesleyan said that changing this tradition and others will help create a culture of community that embraces its students' diversity.